Toronto is a very historical city, and with that history comes a lot of haunted locations. In today's video, I wanted to take a look at Toronto's top 10 most haunted locations. Mackenzie House, Toronto. In the heart of downtown, this former row house housed Toronto's first mayor. It's now a heritage house protected by the city. But it's not just an old house, it's been said that the mayor still haunts the house and you can hear phantom footsteps in the hallways. And sometimes people even said that you can see a shadowy figure from inside the window. Gibraltar Point Lighthouse, Toronto Islands. This structure was built in 1808, making it the oldest lighthouse on the Great Lakes. Apparently the lighthouse's first keeper, John Paul Rademuller, still haunts this place. He was said to have been murdered by two drunks, two inebriated soldiers apparently murdered, and then buried his body close to the lighthouse. To this day, there is a creepy feeling to the lighthouse. Is it because it's old or haunted? Old City Hall. The Old City Hall is now used as a courthouse. The judges who now occupy the City Hall say they feel like they are being touched, tugged, and even poked. This usually occurs by the building's rear staircase. Apparently, the last two men hanged at this location still haunt the place to this day. Elgin and Winter Garden Theater This theater opened in 1913, right before the start of the Great War. The place is said to be packed full of ghosts, even ghosts that play instruments. This is what's been said about this theater. Even when no one is at the location, you can hear instruments being played by ghosts. Maybe one of them was a big band player. Humber College Lakeshore Campus The Humber College Lakeshore Campus is one of the oldest structures in Toronto. The place is built with tons of underground tunnels, tunnels that harbor spirits. The building was first used to house the mentally insane. These spirits have apparently led to students saying they smell foul odors in the part of the building that used to be a morgue. No more dead bodies there, so why the smell? Perhaps the smell of a demonic entity. St. Michael's Hospital Hospitals in general face tons of death, almost a daily occurrence. Some of the dead like to hang around, like a nun called Sister Vencesa. She has been said to have roamed the halls at night, turning lights on and off, but also bringing patients blankets. The Dawn Jail It's no surprise that the Dawn Jail is on this list, harboring many criminals and psychopaths during its time. Many people faced execution by hanging at this jail. Their spirits still haunt the jail to this day. There is also, apparently, a bunch of unmarked graves in the area. With all the death, it makes you wonder how many spirits still haunt this location. Queen's Park Queen's Park was once a hospital to the insane. Many of the ghosts are women. These women still haunt the premises, like a woman that hung herself in the basement tunnel. University College University College is haunted by a man, but had some competition. These two men who loved the same woman were named Ivan and Paul. These stonemasons helped construct the college in the 1800s. The woman ended up choosing Paul, which led to a fight, a deadly fight based on jealous rage. The two men held weapons and Paul came out victorious. Ivan now haunts the location and some people have said to have seen his apparition at night walking the grounds searching for his love. The Keg Mansion The old Massey Mansion, the former home of Hart Massey and the Massey family. Many parts of the mansion have unusual activity. On the stairs, people have said to have heard children playing even when there's no one around and the restaurant is closed. The most famous reported sightings have been a woman hanging from the chandelier. Sometimes people say they can hear a scream right before the sound of a neck break. Pretty eerie. Do you feel like eating at this establishment? Let me know if you plan on checking out any of these locations around Halloween. And if you do, let me know how scared you were. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.